Okay. So. Wasp Menace. Um. Uh, okay. We are apparently doing this without him at the moment. So. That'll be okay. Gonna show you a little bit of, uh, fairly recently-ish discovered, um, tech and peel tech in P TLC PC TLC. Um, we're going to pull out the bow, use lightning on that very first wasp, bam back, hold tab, and then use lightning and move the mouse like left to right. You should hopefully be able to clear the wasps out that way because you're basically uh, target cycling. Kind of similarly to how one would on um, Xbox with the right stick. Um, yeah, I just showed off like the way that Wasp Queen is just dispatched like as fast as possible. Um, otherwise you can do it. Um, or like, um, what do you call it? Oh, current current section. I'm a, a oopsie daisy. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need to change that every time. That's okay. Lost menace. Um. Actually, no. This is, this is actually gonna be wasp menace. And um. Plus, bower stone. Plus. Fist fighters. Plus. Un unfortunately, just because of how the route is, this is going to be a, uh, a thing. Um, plus. Fishing competition. Plus. Orchard Farm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so we're gonna we're, we're we're we are here. We we are here now. <laughs> All right. So. Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Thank you, Guildmaster, for the helpful advice. Pull your bow out. Use lightning on the very first wasp. Um, hold ta yeah, hold your target button, um, wiggle the mouse around while using lightning, pick up any free potions that are on the ground. Okay, skip the cutscene, immediately hard target the wasp queen, watch out for the wasps, potentially for any coming over the sundial. Hopefully they don't eat your shot like that happens, but that's okay. If that does happen, just pull out your sword and hit the wasp queen three times with your sword. Dodge oncoming wasps again. And then three sword strikes and a lightning to finish her off. And then you can hit her corpse as it's becoming a corpse for some little bit of chip might experience. Once that's done, Make your way to Bowerstone. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Bowerstone. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to quickly tab out. Hopefully, the game doesn't crash when I do this. Because I know it does have a tendency to do that to me sometimes. If we act. Why aren't we... Hello? Why is VJoy not working? That's worrisome. Let me close it and reopen it. See if that maybe is part of the problem. Did I 
launch it through Steam? I thought I did. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna do this guide without Mim. For the time being. Not like Mim's actually very important right now, anyway. Um, go to him, give him a gold really quick before you do any trading with him. Gives you better deals. Sell your health potions and res files. Buy all apple pies. Buy all grain sacks. Buy fishing rod. Buy spade. Sell back the grain sacks and pies for a profit. Buy back buy some potions. Buy pies and sacks again, and sell them back again. And now you are free to go to the gate here, enter your menu, and we are going to perform Edom Mode V3. Um, quick rundown, um, a quick-ish rundown explanation of what Edom Mode is. It's a way of making um, various game scripts stop working. Um, so, like, you can save and load while in using Edom Mode V3, which is really handy. Um, if we were to load a save, or, like, make a save right here... Actually, here, let me just get into it first. So, we want to show off, yes, show off the trophy, spam the menu, and then let's go ahead and actually make a save just to show this off. And also give us plenty of time to work with. So we're going to make that save, and then we're going to load that save. Okay. So the world is kind of in a sandbox state right now. Which means, yeah, this guy, the Bowerstone North Guard, can be repositioned. So that we can walk past him without having ever triggering his cutscene. That says... Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come up here. Something like that. Okay, he's gonna be annoying now for some reason. Get. All right. Honestly, Budget has a good video on Bowerstone, early Bowerstone North, and just Edit Mode Three in general, and explaining what it is and like how to use it for early Bower North. Yeah, that's because of the fact that I um, save the game and load it. Normally he wouldn't. If you were just doing this in a speedrun setting, um, not using the extra time from all that other stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um... I'm sorry. Um, yeah. After you've gotten him out of the way, though, you want to break that right barrel over there. And then this right barrel over here. Pay any fines as they come up. Go upstairs, steal this book, and grab the silver key. And then you're going to come over t into this house. Hello. Grab this first book, yeah, bookshelf here on the first floor. Wedge yourself in, wedging yourself into the corner helps with not being seen sometimes. Not a guarantee, but Hello. it does help. Um, give him a gold. Same reason. We're going to be by selling with perfumes now. We're going to be doing this twice. Then we're going to be moving on to diamonds, I believe, five times. Two, three, four. Actually, that kind of looks right. Let's see here. Buy will potions. Uh, buy the books. Buy the thunder doll. Buy all of his red meat. All of his red meat. Buy a perfume. Um, buy Master Longbow. Buy an Obsidian Katana. Buy Zola's Greatsword. And then 
Yes, that should be everything. And then this is where things are going to be a little bit, um, kind of difficult. You just don't want to ever reload, a, you don't want to have to load a save past this point until after you've done fission competition. And the reason for that is because when you catch fish, um, the game doesn't seem to actually retain the weight of the fish that you caught in its memory if you load a save, so yeah. Kinda need to go through the section in one fell swoop. You need a 30 gram uh, fish or heavier in order to um, do what you need to do for fishing competition in the run. Which is just a silver key, but fortunately, just because of how, um, you know, fishing competition prizes are handed out, we also get the Rod of Champions, which is goaded. <laughs> This one should at least be a 30 gram. Oh wow, I was wrong. Okay, that's okay. You know, sometimes this actually does happen. You just get unlucky with your, uh, with your fishing attempts. And yeah, that happens. <laughs> that does happen. If I were doing an actual hundo attempt with that kind of luck, I would have actually reset already. Because, um, yeah. It's tough to compare when you get a uh, qualifying fish the very first catch. Okay, and then you're gonna come over here, move something off of your hotbar here, free up a slot, grab that Ages of Will potion, then we're gonna go back to Power Stone South. Okay. So, we're also gonna be playing our first pub game. Also, very important, do not sneak. Do not sneak in here. Don't, don't, don't do it for any reason. Don't accidentally touch your sneak key, just don't do it. Your game will crash and you will be sad. Five, four. Um. I got those reversed. Okay. I want a beer, please. All right. You won with an Perhaps you'll come back hey, the reason the game would crash is because of that kid. Because that kid is trying to um, actually like make his way to you. If you sneak, other than on console versions, the game will crash. So just be aware. Be aware of that. Talk to the, uh, go to the, oh, what was me, lady. Her son is poorly. It's her boy. Her poor little boy. They were out in the picnic area when we, f they found these strange mushrooms. Grab the uh, Ages of Might potion from the cupboard upstairs in that house across from where Owo Lady is. Master dialogue with these guys and uh, time to loosen those teeth. I'm gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna get physicals here. Um, 
Something I tend to do, but sometimes not in, t in TLC anyway, is I tend to do the strat where I just do a, like, shuffle punch while hard targeting them. And I'm, like, punching them, like, one punch at a time. That's to hopefully make sure that they don't, like, block. Or get weird super armor, because this game's a bit weird with unarmed combat. And, um, yeah. They, they, they have, like, super armor. Sometimes, if they're attacking. I have a, I have a flourish charge, a stored, rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it on him, and then beat him up from behind. The first few fist fighters are pretty easy and pretty lenient. Um, it'll get harder, though. Um, yeah, talk to Beardy Baldy, get get his first card, and then we will not be seeing him again for, um, a while. <laughs> We're gonna be saving that for later. Okay, now, um, we want to equip that Obsidian Katana and that Master Longbow. We're going to grab Protect Orchard Farm and Boast. And we're not actually going to boast, unless you really want to. Um, it's just to teleport you outside. Break these um, bramble bushes. Got that silver key. Very important. Very easily missed. I, Lord knows I've done it before. Older routes would have gotten the um, Ages of Skill potion in that fishing pool there. Um, the current one does not, so I'm not going to recommend that you do it either. Because that is unnecessary fishing, and nobody likes fishing in this game. Unless you actually do like fishing, in which case, um, I question you. So you're going to be doing... But anyway, that aside... Um, if you're not using multiple input methods, you're going to have to be doing a lot of rolling in this map, uh, since my multiple input method method doesn't seem to want to work right now. I don't know why. Um, yeah, we're just going to go at it like this. Grab that, uh, them, that there, uh, little master's elixir from that there chest over there, and then you're going to make your way over to Fisher Creek. And yeah, Obsidian Katana is useful for the fact that you can one-shot those wasps, also those bramble bushes, but it'll also come into play a bit later as well. Um, so yeah. Fishing Rod. We're gonna fish up the uh, Golden Fish Trophy, very important, as this is part of a quest, also trophies. So. He'll be like, Great pork, me lad, that's a hell of a catch. Despite the fact that his uh, requirements for winning a fishing competition are like. tiny. Like, odds are his bait worms are heavier than the fish that he has. Like,. Okay, interesting. So, weird. Um, we just got ourselves a bit of a, 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 a glitch that this can happen sometimes. I don't know what causes it, but um, I caught a 36 gram fish earlier, I think it was, and it just became like a 690 something. Monkfish be prized. Um, I don't, again, I don't know what causes that to happen. But it can happen sometimes. I don't know, really. Want to fish from that middle pool over here for a silver key? Now that you have Rata Champions, it'll be a lot easier to do fishing. Um, and now, if at any point you need to, um, you know, save and reload, you'd be okay too, because you don't need to worry about the game remembering what weight of fish you caught. 
before turning it in. Also, I'm not going to be touching on um, seal rushing in this guide at all. That's advanced tech, and I don't want to be bogging newcomers down with that sort of stuff. Okay, since we have now those five silver keys, we can open this chest conveniently. And, um, yeah. Should be able to get some rushes off in here. There we go. Bridges in general in this game are, are whack, but anyway. Orchard farm time now. Um, it's going to be a lot easier than any percent would be, just because of the fact that you have a master longbow, so you have that much extra leeway. You don't need to hold the arrows back for anywhere near as long. Um... You do still need to be careful, though. Kill these guys quickly, and um, don't let your combat multiplier drop if you can help it. Also, don't take damage from either the bandits or your guard friends, because friendly fire is a thing. Should be fine. Try not to zap them too often, by the way. Because that reduces their, your um, overall damage done, like, when you actually go to kill these guys. Which is a combat multiplier, multi multiplier reduction. Use your two ages pots, there you go. I didn't want that occupying my uh, my bar there. Try to hit me with a flourish. So you can do it. I'm still going to hit And then you can go ahead and do longer charge shots to two shot whisper here. And then After that's done, you're going to immediately go over to this pond here and fish up this uh, elixir of life. Like so. Uh, yeah, it's not so much that the move's stale, it's more the fact that you, you are... The way Combat Multiplier um, is awarded, right? You... The more damage you deal, the more your multiplier increases. So, um, if you do it in like lots of smaller chunks, like you, I, I had, I had a, vi I had a video on combat multiplier. Um, it's still on my YouTube, but I think I might have made it um, unlisted for some reason. Um, but I showed it off with multi arrow, and um, actually, let me pull that up right now and show that off. Literally self plug in a video of my own. <laughs> uh, do I have that in? I do. I do not have it. Um, okay, I do have the video unlisted. Um, not that one. All right. Video is. Actually, not unlisted, I don't think. Hold on. Fable a multiplicative experience. Oh, what do you know? It's still public, actually. I just have the playlist unlisted for some reason. Anywho, um... All right, so, um... There's my replay thing. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, I show it off in here. Um, I think this is with multi-arrow. No, this is just a regular old shot. So, like, there. You see I have a 13 combat multiplier after that first shot there. Um, and now let's see it with multi-arrow. Just on just the one charge here. It's actually it, it it's actually at eleven, it's because you've done it in 
more less powerful hits. Even though you deal more damage, you get less combat multiplier from it. Um It's a bit weird. Um but like yeah. <laughs> you want to do as much damage as you can um with as little hits as you can. That's basically the name of that tune. Um, so yeah, it's not necessarily that the, the move's stale, it's just that the, um, the health pool of your target is draining. So that's less combat multiplier potential the longer that goes on. But um, anyway, that is that particularly longer section done. Um, next is going to be... Um, Bandit Toll, um, the first bit of upgrades, and then is going to be Trader Escort. And the stuff like immediately following that, right before we get into Oakvale. So, yeah.